Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of My Time Cat Sandrock. We should get some diagrams today. The moisture farm was attacked by those gigglers. Them gigglers. Interesting. Ah, Mira. All I needed was like a hair flip from her. Thank you for your assistance. I'm fine. <laughs> Love the horse just standing there. Perhaps I was overzealous. I thought I could move all this clay in one trip. But it proved more burdensome than I thought. Um, let me help you. I appreciate your concern, but I'd best take care of this myself. Although, I had been considering getting someone to help out at the shop from time to time. Um, I can help. Hmm, yes. Gathering clay. This is something workshop owners do, is it not? If you would be willing to deliver five clay to my shop twice a week, it would be a great service. And you will be compensated appropriately, of course. Well, this has been a pleasant interaction. Furthermore, it has been a pleasure to be properly introduced to you. I'm glad I fell. See you at my shop. Okay, we will. Thank you. Your assistance is much appreciated. Turn in our first bit of clay. We will dispatch you, little guy. You're so cute. I soon will probably start dispatching him for collecting. I did forget to refill this. It's fine. Um, we will get our diagrams. We got so much rubber from Fenty. Oh my gosh. I was, I really was not expecting as much as we got from her. I'll take it any day. At least they made like getting to know Fenty to be like kind of beneficial. <laughs> We've gotten like 40 scrap from her now. I believe there's one more story for her. At least in this part. Okay, from Nia. Okay. <clears throat> Lexi, it's me again. So, your mom has already placed you. I guess she got tired of waiting for you to come home and instead found a smarter, more prettier, kinder version of you. I, I was even at your house yesterday. She cooked a massive meal for everyone. During dinner, they were telling stories about when we were young. Uh, uh, a little embarrassing, if I'm honest, but it made me laugh regardless. It kept me kind of, wait, kept reminding me of how you left, though. I mean, not that I'm sad or anything. I'm just kind of miss your stupid adventure, kind of miss our stupid adventures. You remember that tree we used to climb when we were young? The one you fell out of and everyone was fussing over you? Ugh, I remember you got to miss a whole week of school. I was so jealous. Anyway, Dr. Lau somehow managed to revive it. It started blooming and everything. He's been doing some research lately that's bringing dead trees back to life. I'm sending a photo of it. It's really awesome. You wouldn't understand though, so you just stick to your building, okay? Mean. Speaking of dead things, how Sandrock treating you? I heard it used to be an oasis, but then desertification, not desert. I don't even know what I said. I think, think dessert as in like I'm eating, I don't know. Uh, desertification killed everything, bringing them to sandstorms, droughts. It's actually super interesting how it happened. Well, I hope you don't get blown away in the sandstorm. You know, I know you. There's no way you're hiding when it, they come in. All right, I'm going to tell you something, but you have to promise you won't laugh. I learned to it the other day. I know what you're thinking, but no, I'm actually pretty good at it. Your ma taught me how. By the way, she told me to tell you to wear the t-shirt she made you. Anyway, I sent you a scarf I made. You have to wear it whenever there's wind or something. You can wrap it around your head like one of those stupid old world cartoons we you used to watch. Right. My hand is starting to ache now, so I'm going to stop writing. Don't miss me too much. Your friend, Nia. We will acquire this and reply 
Uh, I love Scar. Thank you. Wow. I can't believe you revived the tree. Those cartoons are cool. Uh, we'll do this one. I'd like to learn more about desertification. That word's going to give me such a problem today. It sounds really interesting. I know this is something that Sandrock really struggles with, so I think it would be good for me to learn about it, to learn more about it, blah, blah, blah. Okay. She writes way too much. Oh my gosh. From the church, we understand the food situation is dire, and after a night, a full night of discussion, we might have a solution. Come on down to the fireside tonight at 1800. We'll shed a little light on the subject. From Chi, our diagrams. These actually really aren't that hard. Um, dear Lexi, we went into the breach and found out you were telling the truth. We were so surprised. We checked the hole you closed. It's holding steady. That probably, that's probably the source of the monsters. We've also informed Minister Matilda of the incident. She asked us to expedite a plan to expel the gigglers from the vicinity, as well as give you a reward for the help. It's attached to in this letter. There are still some of the other monsters in the deeper part of the breach, but we don't consider them to be to be much of a threat. So it stays, it'll stay open as a hazardous rune for you. So you can go get builder stuff whenever you need it. Thanks, Civil core. And then our furniture pack that we really need to go through. Um, okay. I need to buy some diagrams. That is for sure. So we're gonna go empty the pockets. I think I already did this. Yes, I did. We're gonna open this though. Okay. The engine and like the simple circuits are probably the best things you can get off of them. Um, I think the scarf. We'll put it in miscellaneous for now. Okay. I have a horse. Get some commissions. Wow, this is like the first day. There is nothing on the map. Look at it. It's empty. Wow. Okay. So in the, in the meantime, between this mission and building all the stuff on the side, I do, we had to do those two. I do want to, ooh, prices went down. Thank you. Let me buy what I need because my thought is on it. I might buy some mm, pigments. Okay, that's enough. That's enough for now. Um, not worth selling anything. Now that we are in like a, a between the mission type of lull or building the mission part, I do want to start working on getting our sh workshop up to up to snuff like we need to get uh need to get more machines in there oops that's the wrong one i want this this i think is a carryover from the beta there's like nowhere to click on this it's technically that ear why if the snag is over okay whatever you say <laughs> So that's where that that I actually reported as a bug, I believe, or, or did I? I think I may have reported that as a bug at some point because that didn't seem right. I'm looking. But anyways, I want to build our additional um our additional processor and grinder. Maybe some of our um do collectors finally I kind of want to work on that so I'm going to delay turning this mission in as long as I can until it basically until it annoys me that I am done and I'm not turning it in that is basically it this mission um it will be just just um talked about at the fireside tonight there's like a set, a thing that happens that they set up like a, a festival, not a festival, like a, a, a dance-off contest. Well, he's going to be sleeping. I'm not going to even bother. 
Um, they do a dance off contest to try to raise funds and food and stuff for the people who've been affected by the, the food prices going up. So, gotta look at the map. Or, this is not a map, this is a calendar. So the firesides today, this will be the collection day for donating a food item. So we need to get some mushrooms today. And then this and this day should be the dance off. I'm trying to remember because I think it's, no, actually I think that's wrong. I think it's fireside and collection, collection, dance off, dance off. So they technically kind of give you like the four days to in here because that's I'm on my other save I would be on the day after the donation started and I do think there's an extra day yeah oh everyone's actually here okay I didn't even oh, should have known it was Sunday because I did anyway I used to get along someone talked that I'm sounds like, good oh. I don't think it's always applicable that was really like that threw me off for a second he used to get along well with Beast. well he was don't a really cool guy hanging. we had the same like ideas and stuff we both thought slow pastor. work is good too slow and steady wins the race oh. recently it's just one lame thing after another i feel like karma's out to get us i really miss the old days where i could sit around all day i mean i can still sit around all day but it's just like more anxiety inducing what? Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have to decide how long... Sorry if you hit... If you heard tapping, that was me. Um, I'm trying to decide how when I should turn it in. I have a decision to make now. I don't like decision making. That's Arvio. Is he still probably... Yeah, okay. We'll go to Zeke then. Good way to get Zeke points, that's for sure, doing this. They always talk every Sunday. Ah, it reminds me your ma used to call you Grain Bean. Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. Hey there. Hmm. Okay. Hello, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've gotten this already. Mm. It's pretty much his go-to line for a decent while. So I do reach a point where I'm just like, ah, I'm done. Alrighty. So we're just waiting on RVO to wake up and then we're done with commissions for the day. Um... So we need to unalive some things today. Oh, now is he at the game center? Oh, this kid. Hi. I don't think I have anything to give you. No, I don't. Yep, he's at the game center now. We'll go give this to Mr. Lazy Bones here. And uh, start working on, uh, on getting our machines ready. Hi there. Fancy Hi. seeing you here. I'll miss seeing Mason at the saloon after a hard day's work. He would always just stand there brooding, but you know, in a friendly way. Is there a friendly way of brooding? I don't think so. Wait, let me get this straight. The moisture find that provides most of the grains and vegetables for the city is out of commission. Um, in every crisis, there's an opportunity. Thanks. You do you. Um, okay. We're going to do... We're first going to see how many... I don't know what that black thing is. It just flashes on the screen sometimes. I don't know what it is, but it always startles me. Every time. What are, I already looked at prices, didn't I? This is perfect. I do need to upgrade this soon. I just don't know if, we'll see what the prices become tomorrow. 
think they were on a downward trajectory, so it might be worthwhile to wait. So, uh, those are done already. We'll do those. We're going to see how much basic leather we can make. Not a lot. We can make one. So we're going to go on a route. Unalive some animals. Because I do need, if I want to make dew collectors, it, it takes three uh, basic leather for each dew collector. So we do need a decent amount of stuff. So we're going to go on the full tour today of unaliving things. Oh, I forgot to harvest the mushrooms. We'll have to do that on the way back. Yeah, they're definitely, I, there's a little route that I like to take that just gets all the animals in this area. This is, this is it. Sometimes I'll just do the partial route, which is just this part. Sometimes I do the full route. Today's a full route kind of day. We're gonna harvest mushrooms first. So like the things you can donate are, the mushrooms are worth a lot. So don't like pick all the mushrooms you can see. The, you can do these sand berries. Um, you can donate sand rice. There's two sand rices that are har harvestable. This is one. And then there's another one like right over there where my head is. There's also mushrooms here. And then there's mushrooms in those trees too. They don't grow every day, but like the mushrooms are a huge boost for the food donation that's coming. Uh, you want to donate as much as you can because the donation, um, if you 100% max out the donation and you donate a big chunk, it gives you a big boost with everyone in town. So this should give me 10 points, I believe, with everyone. I think that's what I got in my other save. I believe it was 10 points. So it's just a good boost with everybody. I gotta take my point, it's bothering me. Point, 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 fighting, fighting. This is also just a good way of getting your fighting points in. Because these are simple, simple animals. To unalive, so I wish I had a camera that was like unlocked already. Cause I would have taken a picture of that bunny because it was just so cute. There is a cave down here. Um we can explore it. I haven't been in these caves. Um, actually, we don't have enough time. Yeah, we don't have enough time to do it, so we won't. Another time we'll go in there. I haven't been in there since the full release. I don't know if they've changed them or not. I hope they change the sound of the electrical that goes through there because it's deafening. Uh, it gave me a headache. I recorded it for my early access playthrough. And I actually had to stop recording for the day. It was like 9 a.m. I had to finish recording for the day because the sound gave me such a headache that I just, I couldn't take it anymore. So hopefully they fix that. Wow, we're gonna, we have a lot of feathers. Here's the sand dry, so we will harvest it. No prisoners. I 
Do I really want to buy two spots? We will buy two spots. Okay, we didn't need more than that. Then we, we're fine. We're going to go empty the pockets and then come back and get the stuff. <clears throat> and that, I think, is the end of the round. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. We'll go see how much that gave us doing the full round, not the half round. And then we will finish getting the um, some of the, the sand rice and stuff around here for the food thing. A piece of wood, really? I will get the sand rice and the sand berries. I believe they added the sand berries. I don't remember them always being a part of this, but I believed I could have donated them on my other save. So we're going to go off of that thing it was a couple days ago that i actually played it so i could be misremembering but i remember so here's the best cluster of mushrooms over here but if you just kind of make a point to collect the mushrooms it's pretty much all you need to do is turn in the mushrooms but it's all um pretty much raw food like you fish are not part of it unfortunately um at least I don't remember them being a part. Like the meat isn't part of it. Uh, eggs are. I don't think Yakmel milk is. Okay. I know. We're going to start the next thing. Bronze blades. I kind of think we're almost done already. You can... Okay, so how much did we get? 12... Enough to make 20 here. That ain't bad. And then how many? So nine. That's only because I'm out of salt. So let's go get salt. I was always curious what the full run gives you. I never actually paid attention to that. Okay, we're gonna go to the fireside. But anyways, yeah, you can turn this in even if the dance off hasn't happened, that it doesn't stop you. Events will happen around the dance off, essentially. I've done that before. We're gonna go get more salt here. Nemo. And macchiato. Um, do I have anything to give you, sir? No, I don't. I don't have a gun. You don't want that. You don't want that. Well, we'll see what you get for that. Yeah. Okay, I need to take the first point and then we will go to the... Um... <laughs> the speed increase eventually would be fine, but I think we're going to go for even better chance of higher quality. Or do I want... We're not actually, mm, we're going to do this. We'll do this, then this, and then we're going to do these two, I think. Okay, get this. Simmer down now. Come on, simmer down. We all know the hydrogel crisis is indeed dire. We're all about to starve to <laughs> death. <laughs> no, no, we're so melodramatic. not down cooper owen came up with a plan and i think it's as mighty good as any you should hear him out owen thank you <clears throat> last night i sat down with miguel and the minister and did a rough inventory estimation of all the food we have in stock in and around sandrock it turns out we actually have enough food uh, probably to last for a bit but it's unevenly distributed Get to the point, man. We ain't got all day. 
<laughs> right. So we'll use my stage for us to do a dance-off, where you need to donate some food to enter. And I have prizes. You lost me there, partner. What the what? I really don't see the reason to dance when we're about to, to starve, starve to death. So dramatic. <laughs> I second that their notion. Without the drama. Uh... What Owen meant was since there are some of us who are more fortunate than others when it comes to food security, it is our responsibility to make sure society as a whole perseveres through this difficult trial. Owen has volunteered his stage and time to organize a food drive in the form of a dance-off contest. Anyone can enter by donating some food. The church will help distribute the food to the people that need it. We'll show our adversaries what Sandrock generosity is all about. Plus, it'll give our builders enough time to do their business. That made sense. I could try to track down some of that old world canned food you see in the ruins sometime. I could do some extra cooking. Meat. Mm -hmm. Uh, better not to make people's lives any worse. My gum is just crazy enough to work. All right, minister, you'll have your food drive. We'll be seeing y'all at the dance off. Be there, be square. And by square, I mean. <laughs> yes, yes, it's wonderful to have you on board, dear Cooper. Now, what about the rest of y'all? Can I count on the good people of Sand Rock to come together and make the first ever Sand Rock dance off and food drive a resounding success? Woohoo! Splendid. I'll be sending out more details via the mail. And with that, I hereby declare this here fireside meeting to be adjourned. Conserve water. Conserve water. We'll talk to Cooper. See, what I meant by square was not necessarily the four-sided figure we've all come to know and love. So on and so forth, etc., etc. Okay. Sure, Coop. Talk to Burgess. What's up? Oh, they don't have any special hey, lines. Uh Hello. Oh, you still do. Huh. Um, Mason left a pretty big tab at the game center on his way out, but it's all right. I forgive him. I can send him an invoice to the mail. Huh. If the Geeklers keep this up, my business gonna will go belly up in no time. Should I be should I be coming up with a a backup plan to San Rocco South? Catch you later. Okay. Hen. Hello. Uh -huh. Wow, Mason's really gone. Newsflash, nobody cares. Ha ha, kidding, just kidding. He was all right. Uh -huh. I already knew your birthday because I gave you a gift. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hate that laugh so much, but I love it. It's a shame I was on my brunch break when the lizards show up. Otherwise, I definitely would have showed them my brand of justice. Sure. Farewell. Alrighty. Oh, uh, we got our salt. I'm actually surprised the horse is still here. I kind of thought it was going to get turned in. So now... That badge is done. How many can I make? What is one route? 14. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Alrighty, so... Um, we're going to go stay. Um, we're going to put this up to build another one just to see what we have. We actually have a lot of it. Okay. I was hoping that it would be more to do. But I, like I said, I also want to build the um, do collectors also so that I can use um, our gecko for something other than always getting water as useful as it is. 
I would like to have him get other things too. Do I have stone? Let's see how much stone we got of this. I will also make some, but... I think we may also make... I think we might also make one more furnace. And I think one more of these, and I think we'll be good. I'd be happy with that. That would be a good level. Um, yeah. I could also, we need to read our books that we got. We're not gonna read these. These are just book, like normal books. So this is a diary. Was it her name? Cordana. So Papa said, so these I believe, this is about the age of corruption going into the age of darkness. There's a whole backstory to this world that like the machines took over or like kind of went amok the AI and put us into this dark world, into the age of darkness where the, we essentially destroyed above ground and everyone went underground. And so this, I believe, is the starting of the Age of Corruption going into the Age of Darkness. I believe this is what this is. I will know more when I read it. But Papa said it was getting, getting dangerous. He really believed that there will be a war. I didn't pay attention to the news before. I should have. I'm still in shock. My power pack is low. I ran out of food six days ago. I feel like I should write everything down before the end. Maybe someone will find this one day. But here it goes. I didn't go to school that day. Papa's orders. I thought I, I would do some chores, then chat with friends at we talk on we talk. Around noon, when I was just finishing my lunch, there was a boom and a blinding light outside. Then the ground started shaking and the walls broke in half. Our house was thrown almost sideways. I was so scared. Mama came running and pulled me into the master bathtub. The shaking and booms lasted forever. Mama just hugged me tight the whole time. When the shaking finally stopped, our house was reduced to rubble. In fact, my entire neighborhood was in ruin. Smoke and dust filled the air. Randall, our house AI, was crushed beneath a wall. Mama cried to Papa, but the network was down. I remembered emergency PA telling people to look, to look for help at designated shelters, so we grabbed whatever we could and headed for the nearest one. There really weren't anything resembling roads left. We sort of just climbed and hiked across the ruined landscape. The shelter wasn't there anymore. I don't know where it went, but in a pla in place of the shelter was the art museum from across town. I think that was the point where it dawned on me that the world will never be the same again. The sky became very dark. I couldn't even see my, my hands anymore without a light. It had been a few days since the event. We still couldn't find Papa. Mama cried when she thought that I was asleep. We met up with a few other survivors. They were, uh, there were around th about 30 of us. We lived in the art museum. They're saying that fighting will still, was still going on around the moon, that our orbital platforms were here all, all destroyed. I tend to tune them out when they're discussing this. I didn't want to think about it. Our group managed to gather some food. We, we, but we still didn't see any signs of law and order. It seems the government was wiped out. So that is probably the age, the age of calamity going into darkness so that's like the big war oh, i actually might need to get a cough drop this is a lot of reading <laughs> it was a few days after that our group was attacked by two men with guns mr arby confronted them they shot him the tall one was telling us that they're the law now if we wanted to survive we had to listen to them and do as they say how do we go from a civilized society to this a few men resisted but there and there was some chaos, there was chaos. Mama took me and we ran into the darkness outside. I don't remember how long we ran, but we only stopped when we reached a, a tear in the ground. We didn't bring much when we ran. I had my mobile, my mama, and mama had a few ration bars, and that that's it. It was cold. Now, wanting to attract attention, we decided to climb down the tear. Well, it was more like a massive cliff with skyscrapers buried beneath. I didn't even know we had weapons that could do that. We broke a window to enter one of the buildings. It turned out to be an office building. So that is what the breach used to be, was an office building. There were a lot of bodies inside. It smelled of rot. 
Some parts of the building still had power. Mama tried to log on to the net and contact Papa, but the network was still down. The cleaner bots were cruising aimlessly, probably disconnected from their all source. So the all source is like the main brain to all the AI that kind of controls them all. It's like where they get their main message kind of from. Um, it's explained much better in Portia because there actually is an all source in Portia. There were blankets in the office, but I still felt cold. We ran out of food a couple, food a couple days later. Mama searched the building, but didn't find any other food. Seems like it had been looted already. Mama decided to go outside to look for food. She told me to stay behind because it was dangerous. I told her not to go. I begged her. Mama hugged me, told me to be brave, and she left. That was four days ago. She's still not back. I slept away most of the time. I had dreams where Mama and Papa take me to the beach. Then I'd wake up in darkness. I didn't, I don't know what to write next. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I miss you, Mama and Papa. I'm sorry for all the times I caused trouble. I'll do anything to take that back. I love you. I guess I'm, I'll stop here. My name is Cordon. There you go. Okay. We need a book chest. There are too many books. <laughs> You can buy a bookshelf. They don't hold many books, so they're kind of not worth it. We'll just do a mini one for now. This actually should go inside, but I... Yeah, we'll load it. I don't care. Okay. Um... Chest. I'm waiting for the mysterious salesman to come. So that I can get rid of some of this. Or get the bigger chests um I need to move that window um they cost about depending on prices his large chest costs I think on a good price day like seven eight hundred Something like that. On a bad price day, a thousand. You eventually can buy the recipe to make them. We will. They aren't the cheapest. Th uh, we're a decent way off from being able to make them. It takes manganese, I believe. I believe it takes manganese. Hopefully we'll have better luck with our last piece of the equatorial mount. It really is amazing save to save because I already had the full equatorial mount in my other save before I even got the mission from Chi. Um, <laughs> and it's not like I really did much digging. It just, I already had it by like floor six, I think. It's just different luck on different saves. This was kind of a disappointing floor so far. Doing good on the engine RNG, that's for sure. No, we need three. And we leveled up. There's sometimes they change these tunnels. They used to not have anything in these tunnels. They sometimes have any something, but not today. Like this little bit right here sometimes can have something, but not today. I wasn't going to give me that piece. I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. I would like that piece. There we go. We got it now. I'm just going to use the rest of our energy. 
We're just gonna get like this ores here. Just to use it up. I just keep forgetting if like in this save, I got the 3 a.m. thing and I, I always like hesitate for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I, did I get that? Do I have that? Yes, I do. It's like I'm resisting the thing. Do, do I check? I want to check, but I'm not going to check. But I should check. But we're, we'll find. Uh, tab. Leave. Ooh, it now marks it as it's a quest item. That's kind of cool. I just noticed that. I know you're tired. How many times is she going to yawn? Alrighty. To bed we go. Hopefully tomorrow will be a slightly quicker day. Um, I'm hoping it will give me a better insight as to truly when the dance off is. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, I, uh, cause I would like to move the story forward. Okay, so we got our equatorial mount. That can go in there. I was hoping you could put stuff in that. That's the only thing that's slightly disappointing with the fridge. I hope you could, I wish you could put stuff in it. Waited, not didn't wait long enough. Dear Sandrock, we have decided at the fireside meeting last night to hold the first ever Sandrock dance off contest at the Blue Moon stage in two days. Festivities will begin at two o'clock. We're, we're using this opportunity to perform a food drive for the more unfortunate citizens of Sandrock during the food crisis. Anyone who donates food will be able to participate in the dance off. Burgess will be handling the sign up, so talk to him. Owen will be giving out prizes to the top three finishers at the dance off, so practice your dance moves and see you there. And we got our civil recycler. You, sir. Hi. You are going to collect water. Um, we're going to see. Hi to Elsie. And then we're going to talk to Burgess. Hey, you ain't doing nothing, are you? Come on, help me track down it. Uh, what is it anyway? Look, if you have to ask, you'll mm -hmm. never know. Oh, right. Now I remember why I had to ask for your help. I need your foraging skills to help me scrounge up some bait. We need bugs and bird eggs. That's its favorite. Then we lured into my trap. And even if it grew itself a pair of wings, it'd never escape our clutches. <laughs> that was a very <clears throat> evil one. Alrighty, here's a list of stuff for you to get. Let me know when you've got the goods. And then let the hunt begin. Okay, and? Ooh, yeah, good stuff. This one looks real juicy. It won't be able to resist. Meet me on the outskirts of town tomorrow at 7 sharp. That's when we make our move and capture it. <laughs> that was a close one. Mm. Let's talk to Burgess. Want to know the rules of this dance off? <laughs> Everyone loves rules. Sign me up. That was a close one. Like she technically didn't get hit by the train. But she to enter did. the dance off, you need to donate at least one item to the food drive. Registration won't be open forever. And during this time, everyone is encouraged to donate whatever they can into this little basket here next to me. One is all that's required to enter the competition. But if you donated even more, I'm sure lots of people would really appreciate it. Now, the dance-off will be here sooner than you think. So the night before, make sure you get your vitamins and also plenty of rest. Vitamin D, I assume. D for dance. Hmm, <laughs> you're such a cheese ball. Let's see. Can I donate without getting my inventory? No. So that's another thing. What's fishing and the dance off? Um, miscellaneous. Okay. We're going to pretty much max it out. We're going to donate the sand rice first, then 
this. It's easier to like and hit donate. So we need what 31 ish percent. Um, I think we need one more and yeah, maybe one or two more. There we go. 100%. So we'll get the max. Excellent. I am shocked we still have this horse. I'm absolutely shocked we still have the horse. bother me? Okay. And that's it. We'll put that in there. We'll carry. No, we don't. Eh, I'll carry this just in case. It won't hurt. Um, We will finish this. So those two are done. Ah, this is going up. Okay, we're going to go get a commission. So, was I right? Yeah. Okay. I was right. So it's donation, donation, dance, dance. Okay. Well, I'll have to think about it again. Like, when, like I said, when I want to turn it in. Like I do want to slow the story down just a little, but I don't want to slow it down too much. Oh, we do this. We should have this page. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have anything yet because we need this guy to teach us to farm. We'll try the bookcase. Why not? Make sure I don't need anything here for it. Oh, we got to deliver to Amira. Hmm. This price is a little too good. We're gonna go. Hmm. You need this, probably. This, probably. And we need this all eventually. Um, we'll need that. I just, this is a really good price. Um. Bookshelf. We'll need this soon. I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, we'll buy this because if we did the other thing, um, if we didn't build the stage that we would have had to pop that earlier. That's good enough for now. We're going to go over to here. I don't want to get stuck in the stage. We're going to... We're going to splurge on these. Yeah. I don't, I can't, I, I can't get a forging machine yet. So we're going to splurge on those. Um, I don't, we're not going to be able to get the forging machine machine to make our own. So being that prices are good, I'm going to need it anyway. We're going to just splurge on it. Okay. I think I had any... Oh, the bookcase. Okay. That was, I think, it. We will process more boards. Go. Oh, I think I'm going to go into wood harvesting the day today. Um, That sounds like the plan, I think. Another train. Okay, so we're gonna go over here first to Rocky. A Rocky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard about the dance off. 
I know how to do the monkey. I know how to do the mashed potato. That should be enough to me for me enough to win to win, I'm thinking. You entertain you enter in? His lines are so hard to read. What a bunch of bullies those lizard men are, picking on an old man and a bunch of plants. I'd like to see them try the same thing in on Snoofola Salvage. <laughs> okay. Laugh is still creepy. We also need to deliver clay to Amira. I keep forgetting to do that. And then we also need to build, get more research, and then um, we also need to build the equatorial mound. Um, Grace, where are you? In here? Ooh, Owen wants something. Hey there. Hmm. Never a dull moment around here. We're running out of food, so let's have a food drive, but also make it a dance battle. Okay. Thanks. Owen. Hello. Uh huh. To tell you the truth, I've been wanting to have a dance off for ages. This just seemed like the perfect excuse. Uh huh. Geez, I heard the uh, moisture farm's out of commission. If it stays that way for too long, I'm gonna have to start getting over, getting real creative with my menu. Sand sales with sand on the side. Is that doing anything for you? Uh huh. Okay. All right. Catch you next time. Hey, Owen. So when he, he wanted, he desired something. So that little heart tells you he desired it. Yep. So you get points and then normally some money. Yeah. So we, we made eight goals on that. And a relic bag. So the toy spear soldier was from Portia. Okay, we're going to assemble the equatorial mount. We will have to get another one for the museum eventually. Okay, two things for Chino. This is it. 68 degree latitude range. Ultra fine axis controls. It's got to be accurate at least to 7 arc seconds. And do you hear that? Exactly. Silence. But if you place your ear just so, you can hear the motor drive purring like a diminutive kitten. This equatorial mount looks like it could counterbalance a pretty sizable telescope which confirms my postulation that the old world metropolis that sand rock sits upon must have dealt with space related industries there must have been some old world observatories under the sand now that we have a mount it only stands to reason that there are also telescopes somewhere in the ruins too maybe even rocket engines and starship now i'm getting ahead of myself anyhow i implore you find a telescope and restore it for science Okay. If you can manage this task, I'll even let you use it. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. When I'm not using it for research. Or non-research. Perhaps you can use it once a year on your birthday. How does that <laughs> sound? We can hammer out the details later. Mm -hmm. If data from the Civil Corps surveys are reliable, I think there might be some telescope parts deep down the Gecko Station abandoned ruins. Not sure how they got into a transport hub. Maybe a few buildings got crunched together back when a calamity happened. Are the Civil Corps letting us use those nowadays? I'll have to check and get back to you. Await my further correspondence by, um, keeping an eye on your mailbox. Excellent work, Builder. Thank you. That will be all. Okay. We'll get that mission uh, once the desert opens. Dance off, self invoking body spasms to the temporal rhythm produced by sound waves of varying frequencies. How utterly meaningless. Um, we got that. We're gonna go with the furnace. 
I would like to start upgrading some of our stuff too, if we can. Um, Cause we're about to enter into, once this mission is done, I believe we start to go into another, the iron age essentially in the game. So everything's gonna be iron. So we'll need to upgrade everything. Thank you. I hope that you were able to obtain this without any peril. Okay. There is a circle up there. I think I know what that is. <clears throat> Just in case, we're gonna save beforehand, even though I know how to fix it if something happens. Yo ho, skinny! Fancy seeing you here in this city where we both live. This is finally voiced. How sick was that front flip? Um, totally sick. Not bad. I've seen better flips right then. Totally sick. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the part where I was like, whoosh? But hey, just as I saw you running about through town and ambushed you, it got me doing something I almost never do. Thinking. We've been hanging out and chatting, and you're always giving me stuff and buying things. I'm starting to think. We've become really good friends. Um, there's more to friendship than that. Is there? <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure it out as we go along. So, hey, I think it's confession time. Remember how when we first met, I did a totally sick flip like I did just now and offered you a combat course? Well, the truth of it is, I don't really like teaching people anything. That whole tutorial shebang is really just an excuse for me to beat people up. <laughs> Hard to believe, I know. But say, since we're friends now, why don't I give you a real combat tutorial? Maybe I can even offer you an introduction to Space Punch! Um, I can I don't like hurting people. I can try. There is no try, there is only do. I'm so happy to hear him voice this, because it's kind of funny. Come skinny, we have much work to do. Okay. Let's go, Pen. Alright, we're here. Welcome to Space Punch 101. I'll be your Instructor, I hope you brought your <laughs> pen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really need a pen. That was just an icebreaker. So, the first thing about Space Punch is you take your hand like this and, uh. <laughs> Any questions? Can you do it again? <laughs> of course. Atara wasn't built in a day after all, right? I don't know. Maybe it was. <laughs> don't quote me on that. Here, let's see <laughs> some more examples. So you just go like... Boop! Space punch. S -s 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 space punch! <laughs> well... Um, let's try something more hands-on. Look, Skinny, this is my class, okay? I make the rules. I call the shots. Eh, uh, hands-on. Right, right. This is my first time actually trying to teach anyone something, okay? But normally I'm great at everything I do after trying for like five minutes, so just stick with me. I, I know what the problem is. I can't just space punch out of nowhere. <laughs> Not without a target. Yeah, that's it. Follow me, skinny. Behold, as I use my fist to paint upon this canvas of sky. Okay. S -s 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 space punch! I'll be a little more civilized and use my dagger. Take that, you vile beast! Whew. Well, 
I think that will answer any questions you might have had. So, go ahead. Space punch time! Go for it! Oh. Oh no. That's not it at all. I failed. For the first time in my life, I failed. It feels... Gross. <laughs> it feels really bad. <laughs> Dang it, Skinny. I failed you. My only friend and I blew it. Makes me so mad, I just want to... Ugh. It's okay, Ben. It's not okay, Skinny. I can't fail. What will people say when they find out? Deep breaths, panel boy. Just like the minister says. Take all those bad thoughts and push them down. Deep down. You know what, Skinny? This is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. You know why? I won't tell anyone? Exactly. Everyone cares about what Penn does. Everyone's always got their eye on me, just waiting for that moment for me to slip up so they can laugh. But we won't let them know, will we, Skinny? We're going to keep this all between us pals, yes? Your secret is safe with me. <sighs> that is good to hear, Skinny. Truly, you are a stalwart companion. Trustworthy, far beyond any length I could throw you. And believe you me, that's far. Very <laughs> far. <laughs> so it seems there really are things beyond even one such as myself. The glorious protector of Sandrock. You know, Skinny, I've never had someone I really considered a friend before. Furthermore, I always promised myself I'd never be friends with anyone who didn't have an awesome cape, but you made me break that promise. Sorry, I was drinking water. <laughs> Seems I couldn't predict the future. Perhaps there are many things I cannot do. Perhaps there is indeed a lesson here to be learned. When I got stuck looking into that mirror, failing today as a teacher, occasionally getting edged out in whack-a-mole from time to time, perhaps the lesson of humility I often preach was meant for me. Yes. Yes. That's precisely it, Skinny. I can't just take my own greatness for granted. Even though I've historically been ridiculously awesome at everything and done so effortlessly, that doesn't mean it's always going to be so. I need to treat people better. I need to do something nice for Burgess. I I need to write this stuff down. Do you have a pen? I, I know I said you didn't need one. I wasn't planning on having an epiphany. You don't? Ah, well. I'm sure I'll remember it. Hey, look over there! A rocket <laughs> rooster. Watch me tie its neck in a knot. <laughs> Smell you later, Skinny. Bye, Pen. I don't think I learned how to do the space punch, but watching Pen's attack closely did give me insight on how to hit a little harder. Is he gonna follow me now? Yeah, this is the bug. Dancing is an exercise in strength, stamina, and finesse. The muscle control required for passively stylus jig is a very same and that makes me untouchable in combat. This dance-off will be a day of reckoning. I shall unleash boogie justice upon this land without mercy. Is he gonna follow me? Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. It is a known bug that Pen will continue to follow you. Uh, I think on either Discord, actually it might be Discord and Steam. Uh, one of the devs wrote that if Pen is still following you to just um, say, go off the save where it, it, that mission ended and just exit to the main menu and then come back. That's all you need to do. As funny as Pen can be at times, I do not want Pen following me. I mean, though, I mean, I 
should have maybe taken advantage of it and gone down the breach or something. That would have been the smart thing to do. Let's go do the breach with Pen. Uh, we turned in. Yes, we turned in everything. I'm like getting lost where I'm at now. Okay, so. What do we need to upgrade this? Bloodstone core. So we need to upgrade this first. What do I need to upgrade you? Marble slabs and copper wire. Okay. So we're going to start upgrading this. And then we need to start doing marble. Um, marble is a thing. You get it from the hard stones and the monument. The actual, like, raw marble, this, isn't used for anything, really. So you can convert the majority of it right into the bricks. I would keep them in bricks and then process the slabs as necessary. I wouldn't just immediately convert it to slabs. I would never do that. So, yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to start upgrading things. And we're going to see how far we get upgrading to decide when we turn in the mission. I don't want to hold it for the full two days. That is for sure. Oh, we still have a commission to turn in. Um, I don't want to do the full uh, two days. Well, actually it would be three technically, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't want to hold it all the way to here. So we might turn it in on the 17th. It really is just how far do I would like to get like I said, I would like to get the at least two to three of the um, do collectors built. And I would like at least to have maybe the one furnace and at least one uh, recycler converted to. Everything else we can do little by little, but I at least want that so that when we finally get to that point where I need them, they're ready to go. Howdy. I already got your See you. mission. I don't think, or your line. I don't think I do. Who am I going? Zeke. There's another desire out here. Who wants something? More? Gotta be more. Um, you ask, do I miss my old friends? Well, I visit them almost every day. Huh? Hemostat. You are in luck, sir. We eventually can get a uh, perk to give us a better um, plus for those with different people. Like we get, we eventually get a plus with their entire friend group or network group. We will eventually get that for now. We'll deal with what we got. Okay. Hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. Um. Uh, the rest of the day, we're going to divide our stamina between continuing with the hard rock and wood. That is what we're going to work on today. We could go and do the breach, but I'm going to wait. Maybe tomorrow's up. I mean, because this episode's running long. Um, What's the date in game? The 15th? Oh, tomorrow's Justice's birthday, followed by Heidi. So I'll have to research what to give them when I can't, when I can afford to give them, I guess I should say. Thing that we're so poor. Um, wood. I'm just gonna kinda do this little circle over here. And then we'll end the episode. I 
think this is like so far like one of the only missions where the initial timing is has been kept the same. Because everything they they what they've been cutting out is um like the days in between. That's what's getting cut out. Um so like when we had the Logan train heist, then the next day you had uh, Ernest interviewing Mabel and then eventually us. That would have been its own day. Um, that now got combined with the Giegler's attack of the Oasis. So initially it would have been like Logan's train heist, Ernest's interview, then the Giegler attacking the Oasis. That's how it was. Then another day off. And then I believe Matilda showing up at your door, which then starts the moisture farm quest. So it's just, they just took the time in between out, but there's also just in general, uh, character missions are, are coming earlier than they normally would. Like the Owen mission. I've never had that mission as early. And like the builder cruise with me on, I've never had it that early. So I think they lowered because I, part of me thinks it's because they added more content to the late game. They wanted more character stuff in the early game. So that's how I think they kind of dealt with it is that they just push things that maybe used to be buddy to now associate. That's what I'm thinking is what they did. Um, I'm an idiot. I completely forgot that I have another one of these. <laughs> like what an idiot, like a buffoon of an idiot. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Um, it's actually really funny. <laughs> We're going to just do that and start making slabs. It's pretty much all of these. You can, you can see the recipe, even though we are missing the diagram. This is what they each will need. You just can't upgrade it until you own the recipe. So yeah, manganese is gonna be the next thing that stops us. What do you need, sir? Bronze sticks. Um, and then bloodstone cores it was, yeah. Oh, I can't, uh, so yeah, so that's why you need this is because I can't make the bloodstone core yet without those. Okay. Well, I think we're going to let this process then and I'm going to go to bed. Um, this technically is a gecko relic, but it's going in here for now just because I don't I don't feel like making the chest for it. Oh, I wanted scrap. There we go. Um, this goes there. This goes there, that goes there, and then metals. Uh, we will de eventually donate this to the museum. This this is the one that can get donated to the museum. This one, the game does not acknowledge that it's an actual bronze pick hammer. So this is why this one says donate to museum and this one doesn't. Okay. This should be our last day with this guy. I will miss you, horse, if that's the case. We will soon have our own horse. Hopefully a painted one, but sometimes you don't, the game doesn't cooperate. A bronze frame. I don't even think I can see what that is. I know it takes
We'll make rivets overnight. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to cut off one of these, I think. No. No. I was going to say I was going to cut it off and yeah, I will. We'll do this. We do need bronze, so we'll let this process. I don't know, part of me feels like I should put it back. Oh, this is what I hate having to make decisions like that. Um, we're going to continue with the bricks so I can upgrade things while we're waiting. This can process the uh, bronze. It's fine. OK, that's done. And we're going to bed. Actually, no, we're going to add water. I mean, look at that. All from geckos. I could actually build probably a couple of the these. Nope, marble bricks. Okay, so we all let stuff process. We're gonna go to bed. Alrighty. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at Sandrock. Um, next episode, we will up continue to upgrade the workshop. I'm going to keep the size of the workshop the, sh the same for a while. Um, just mainly for money saving purposes. I just I want to milk this one upgrade until I have no choice and must upgrade. That's normally how I do like to do it. I don't like to upgrade to like just, oh, I have the money. I'm going to upgrade. I always wait a little bit. That's just how I play. Um, so we're going to continue to upgrade our machines, hopefully get them all to the next level. I'd be happy if we got to the point where we were processing things or to be ready for the next level. I'd be happy with that. And that way that I can turn this in probably on the 17th. So the next episode, we will probably turn in the hydrogel uh, just to turn it in to get it over with. The story will probably take, if, unless they've taken that day out too, it normally takes an extra day or two for the next story point to kick in. I don't, I don't know what to do, when, what to think anymore when plan ahead. So it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so we'll definitely have some story and the dance off, at least day one of the dance off um, will be next episode. So we'll have a lot going on. It'll probably be another long episode and I apologize. So I hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourself and bye for now.